How's it guys? Um, if it is not yet clear, sometimes the first time I look at myself in the morning is when I open the camera. <laughs> if in the first opening video of each vlog I'm fixing my hair, it's because I've literally not looked at myself all day and I've realized that Brunette Tintin is out in full force. But today, super short vlog, we are going to another little Christmas market, really milking the Christmas scene this time of year. We're going to another little Christmas market just down the road from us. We're gonna get some food there, but uh, yeah, so this won't be a very long vlog, but you will see. Here we are, here it is. The Christmas market this is much, much smaller, obviously, because you've just got this little square you can see to both ends of it. But we're gonna, what is this? Is there a little train that goes mm. around? You wanna go on the train? Nope. <laughs> Zero desire. What is that? Chocolate titties? I had this at the oh. <laughs> Tete de Choco. Chocolate titties. And here you've got all your Christmas trees for sale. Okay, we're gonna get this again to start. This just looks so good. Barquette Tatiflet. Hmm. You just cannot go wrong with spuds. That is 100% truth. And if you don't agree, fight me. Oh, today was the first time that, I think I might have done it last night, but I just didn't realize, but today was the first time that I finished eating something and then wiped, and I was like ready to wipe my whole beard. But I didn't wipe my whole beard, I just wiped just the corners of my mouth. Like a princess. Or the queen. Dun, dun, dun. Won't you take me to dun, dun, dun. Churro Town? Yeah, we're getting some churros now just because if you don't believe that churros are what we should be getting right now, fight me. They get dumped into this thing, drained a little bit, <laughs> and then boom, into a bit of sugar. Hell yeah. It's the low fat version. It's the low fat version. <laughs> I'm gonna take this most sugary one if you want. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Yeah, if you guys didn't watch last night, we went to Pink Mama, which is a relative of. Pizzeria Popolari, but Pink Mama doesn't serve the churros, so that's why, especially why we're getting churros today. It's just so good. I mean, how can you go wrong? We are back at the flat. Um, this is actually a bit of a mind Jedi trick on you guys because today is actually not the same day as the beginning part of this vlog. This is officially the day after we went and got churros and everything, um, but the phone ran out of space and storage and nothing exciting happened for the rest of the day so I'm just combining two days where one was fun in the morning and the other is fun in the evening but what we've got going on right now I've got some sad news well there's some there's two parts sad news one part good news the good news is that it's lunch time the sad news is that we've made it all the way through one of our what is this a bottle a bottle of our Dutch mayonnaise that might not actually be Dutch might be Belgian but we're still not 100% sure and we haven't looked into it any further but we've got a backup so that's actually kind of good news then I guess but anyway we're done with that so into the recycling you go and the other sad news is it has come that time we ignore all of this actually oh I haven't told you guys about this but these are all clothes that Sav has uh, decided to get rid of, elected to get rid of, not being forced or nothing. And I'm um, just going to take it down. There's a center near us. And then they give them to people who need them. So it's really nice of Sav. Sav doing a good thing. But so the other sad news was this. You see that flashing red light? It has come time to cancel the fiber. My contract with Orange is not up. I had to cancel it early. Um, but yeah, the fi we no longer have fiber and it's a sad, sad day because if you're not aware, in two days time I'm going back to South Africa so that is why we cancelled the, the fiber. Anybody who's moving to Paris and is looking into getting fiber or an internet solution I would highly recommend Orange, they were great. Fabrice at our local Orange dealership or should I say fruit store. <laughs> Get it? Is it? Uh -huh. <laughs> he was great and then all the service that I've had with them and interactions that I've had with them have been fantastic like 100 times better than any internet service provider that I've had in South Africa so I'm gonna have to take that little router back and um, that's the end of fast internet
Yes, I know, lunch is not particularly exciting for you guys, maybe, but this was just what's left over in the freezer and the fridge, so getting rid of it. But this stuff, Volvic Juicy, I'm not trying to cover anything up, I've just got to hold it. This stuff is so delicious, this peach flavored one. It's honestly, it's so good. So I would recommend this as well. Doing all my recommendations just before I leave. And I am off to go return my baby. Quite literally holding it like a baby. No, but I'm gonna go return the router for the internet. Or the router. Does anyone say router? No one says router. That's how you spell it though. But it's known as a router, right? Root? Here we are. The birthplace of connectivity and dreams. Not sponsored. But I will write you up the campaign if you want me to. Okay, so that makes very little sense. I'm walking through the uh, Christmas market where Sav and I came yesterday, by the way. But that makes no sense to me whatsoever. I went to go return my router at the store where I went and signed my contract and everything. But guess what? You cannot return the router in store. You have to send it to them at the post office. And look, I kind of get why they do that because they need everything going to the same place and whatever but surely they could just have a drop-off box where you could drop off your router and then they could send it or somehow get it to head office or wherever it needs to go to because now not only do i have to go take this to the post office sure i can send it for free but it means i have to go to a printing shop to print the piece of paper that you ship it with it just seems like Unnecessary hassle if you ask me Leaving the photocopy place behind me if you see it there I'm gonna tell you guys normally I would choose not to tell you but I'm gonna tell you about the hack that I just had to go through right Oh and also while I'm just busy ranting because I don't normally rant on the vlog because I don't see the point There's absolutely zero value in me voicing my frustrations into a video where by the time the video goes out Those frustrations will have gone. So all I'm doing is sharing the negative energy vibes, dude, brew Anyway, just thought it was quite Murphonic That's my new word for Murphy's Law but put into a different tense or pronoun or type of word, word part. Um, yesterday, being my third last day in Paris, having been here for a full year, I stepped in dog poo for the first time in these shoes that I'm wearing now. So well, I'm wearing them now because I'm just trying to walk it out, you know, walk it off, walk off all that shit. And the reason that I bothered to tell you that is because it was that poo over there. You see that little brown pile? That was the guy. That's the one that got me. I was walking through here I was like, let me just cut across. And it was dark, and I stepped in that. That was me. Fantastic. Well, that wasn't me, but I stepped. There's our baker, looking beautiful, nice and steamy in there. Must be a fresh batch of baguettes going out. A couple of baguette rolls, some croissants, who knows. The sun is out. You see, it's a sign. Things are looking up, and so are we, quite literally. Look, we're looking up. You see, you get it? And who's this little guy? Little wiry head guy. Maybe there is value in ranting to you guys. See, there was a beautiful dog. The sun is come. Okay, the sun's going away. It is much, much colder than it was earlier. I've got my uh, router now in a bag, easier carrying. Um, and I'm off to the post office. I also have all the prizes for all the people that won first competitions. Um, you guys know who you are. All right. All done at the post office, everything done. Um, one thing that I will say is that <laughs> when you, you really get reminded of what generation you are when you go to a post office. Because if you know what you're doing, then you know what you're doing. But if you don't, you know, I still had to look up when I was putting people's addresses, I had to look up online what the correct format is for addresses and where the postal code goes, whether it's above the country name, below the country name. Anyway, then it comes to putting the stamps on, and I was like, oh fam, which, uh, which side of the letters do the stamps go on? Anyway, I had an inkling, obviously, but I just didn't want to mess it up, right? So I might be kind of old, but I'm not that old. But sending, sending stuff in the mail, it's just not something we do in South Africa, because it doesn't really often get to where you're trying to send it. So 
we don't really bother. But uh, here, it seems to work. And the people in the post office, lovely, friendly. Would recommend, 10 out of 10. As if you guys haven't already seen enough of my face today, last outing of the day, we are out and about in, I think, the first arrondissement. No, we're in the second. But we are going to meet up with Sav's friend that we met up with when we went to that wine tasting thing. And we are going for ramen because she said she knows the best ramen place in Paris. And we both feel like ramen, so... Here we are. Here's the name of the place. Koteri Ramen Naritake something something. There we go. Is the ramen. Oh, the runny nose from having to run to go withdraw cash because they only draw, they only take cash here. So the ramen was uh, quite delicious and uh, I just thought we'd stop here because for once for take once the I'm now. taking the picture there is no one parked outside the lavery so yeah I'm watching do. so glad we took the photo because look Mr. Zuti over there I don't know how to park bruv <laughs> performance anxiety okay so I'm not sure how it turned out but on my second last night here in Paris what are the odds of that? yeah that's that's cool. That's a sign. Some would say serendipitous. S serendipitous. All right, so that's enough for today. We are in bed already, as you can tell. And tomorrow is my official Paris Instagram meetup. Well, it's not necessarily an Instagram meetup, but it's just a meetup nonetheless. And uh, hopefully it will be better than the UK meetup. Because if you guys saw that one, a sum total of two people arrived and it was myself and Sav. Anyway, we'll check you in the morning for um, multiple slices of multiple mats. You get what I'm saying. Okay, check you then.